Hi guys, in this session I'll be discussing about mitosis that is a type of a cell division in eukaryotes which produces the daughter cells which are exactly genetically identical to that of the parent cell. Now, uh, how does a multicellular organism develop from a single cell? That is, we all know that uh, the gametes fuse together, that is, they fertilize together and produce a zygote, which uh, goes through various stages of multiplication and then it ultimately results in the formation of multicellular organism. Now, how does this entire mechanism or how does a multicellular organism develop? It, uh, this, uh, this involves a process of cell division, that is, mitosis. To discuss further the various stages of mitosis, uh, let us first understand what are the important areas of the chromosomes that is those areas which are uh, uh, important or which are of an interest uh, for understanding of the process of mitosis. So suppose this is a chromosome and uh, when it enters into the synthetic phase or the uh, DNA replication stage of the uh, interface, uh, the DNA replicates and uh, it the chromosome uh, produces the sister chromatids. Now the sister chromatids are attached to a central fragment that is they join together to the central portion which is known as a centromere. So uh, the central portion is known as a centromere and this uh, central portion or the centromere is uh, covered with the, uh, some protein molecules to ultimately form kinetochore. Now, kinetochore during the mitosis, microtubules of the spindle apparatus get attached to a point known as kinetochore. It is a protein structure which lies on the outer side of the centromere. Now, the microtubules or the uh, filaments which pull apart the chromosomes uh, during, uh, uh, pull apart the sister chromatids during the mitosis process get attached to the kinetochore. And this kinetochore is nothing but the uh, outermost protein covering of the centromere. Protein structure which lies on the outer side of the centromere. And as I said, chromatids are nothing but during the um, uh, replication stage or during the synthetic phase of the interface when the DNA replicates, it produces uh, uh, sister chromatids. Chromosomes replicate such that two molecules of DNA are produced. Replicated DNA along with the histone proteins is known as chromatids. The centromere, it is a region of the chromosome where both chromatids are in contact with each other. This region is found in the middle of the chromosome. Now, moving to the next slide. This slide uh, shows the diagram of the uh, kinetochore, centromere and the uh, diagram of the chromosome as a whole. These two are the sister chromatids. This is a kinetochore or the outermost uh, protein covering over the centromere and the central portion is nothing but the centromere. So and the microtubules are attached to the uh, microtubules or the spindle fibers are attached to the kinetochore. Now uh, the microtubules and centrosome. So, what is a centrosome? Say, suppose this is a cell and this is a nucleus. In the animal cells, this centrosome is present and it is absent in some higher plants and fungi. The centrosome contains two centrioles which are perpendicular to each other and uh, during the uh, mitosis, uh, during the early phases of interphase, the centrosome divides such that it produces two centrosomes, each containing a pair of centrioles, uh, a pair of centrioles and moves towards the opposite ends of the nucleus and from there the microtubules originate which uh, invade the nuclear space and get attached to the uh, kinetochores of the chromosomes and ultimately help in uh, pulling apart of the sister chromatids. 
Now, centrosome, it is also alternatively known as microtubule organizing center. It is seen in the case of eukaryotic animal cells and it is absent in higher plants and fungi. It has a pair of small organelles known as centrioles which lie perpendicular to each other. It duplicates during the synthetic phase of the interface resulting into two centrosomes each with a pair of centrioles. And spindle fiber, the microtubules referred to as spindle apparatus pulls the sister chromatids apart. Due to this, a set of chromosomes are placed in each cell after the cell division. So, during mitosis, it maintains the ploidy or the number of chromosomes. Say, so, suppose the parent cell has started with uh, chromosome number 4. That is, it is having 4 chromosomes. Ultimately, the two daughter cells will also have 4 each chromosome. This happens uh, because the microtubules pull apart uh, the sister chromatids. That is, this system chromatid will move towards uh, to one daughter chromosome, uh, sorry, one daughter cell, and this system chromatid will move in into another daughter cell. Now, moving to the next line. This uh, diagrammatically shows the centrioles and the microtubules. We can see these are the two centrosomes which have multiply, uh, which have divided and they have moved towards the opposite poles and there are the cent these are the pair of centrioles lying within it and th these are the chromosomes and the microtubules have originated from the centrosome and they have got attached to the kinetochore fragment of the chromosome and uh, this is uh, this is how ultimately the homologous chromosomes are uh, separated within the uh, during mitosis these are the two homologous chromosomes, that is, uh, two similar uh, pair of chromosomes, uh, and that is uh, this uh, this particular purple chromosome. We can say that it has originated from mother, and this has come from father. So during the replication stage, the two sister chromatids are produced, and ultimately by the end of uh, mitosis, uh, this daughter cells will have. This daughter cell will have this fragment of sister chromatid and this fragment of sister chromatid. That means it, uh, it will have one fragment from the metal, maternal chromosome and uh, uh, one fragment from the paternal chromosome. And similarly, the other, uh, other daughter cell. So, moving to the next slide. What is mitosis? This term mitosis was coined by Walter Fleming in early 1880s. And it has originated from the Greek word which means thread. Uh, a single cell splits into two genetically identical cells. The daughter cells have the same chromosome number, same number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell. And uh, the cells which undergo mitosis can be haploid, diploid or polyploid. That is containing multiple sets of chromosomes. It takes place in four stages uh, which is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. I will be just dealing with each of these stage in detail. Now, uh, we can see in this slide the transition period of a cell from interface to um, interface to prophase transition. That is what happens before it enters into prophase. Uh, so, we, uh, when uh, the cell is in the interface stage, it has a well-defined nuclear envelope, nucleus and a nucleolus within it. Now, uh, when it is um, entering into the prophase or during the transition period, the centrosomes have divided and they are moving towards the opposite poles. And we can see that the uh, chromosomes, uh, the loosely coiled chromosomes have started condensing. Now, uh, when it enters into the prophase stage, now the loosely coiled chromatin within a normal cell gets highly condensed. So by the time it enters into the prophase stage, the chromosomes get highly condensed. Formation of a highly organized structures known as chromosomes. Nuclear envelope dissolves followed by the disappearance of the nucleus. So by the time it reaches to the prophase stage, the nuclear envelope gets completely dissolved and the nucleus also get disappeared. The nucleolus disappears. Uh, duplicated centrosomes containing a pair of centri centrioles start migrating towards the opposite en ends of the cell. Spindle fibers made up of microtubules start originating from the centrosomes. 
so the spindle fibers start originating so that they can invade within the nuclear space and then they they can join to the kinetochore of the chromosomes so this is a temporary phase before it enters into the next stage uh, of metaphase so we can say that the pro metaphase is also a transition period between prophase and metaphase and during this phase the nuclear membrane dissolves completely and the microtubules originating from the centrioles invade the nuclear space the proteins get attached to the centromeres uh, forming the kinetochore the microtubules get attached to the kinetochore so the microtubules slowly start uh, uh, penetrating inside and they get attached to the uh, kinetochore now the next phase after the prometaphase is a metaphase stage and during this stage the uh, chromosomes are all lined up equatorially that is towards the center of the cell or towards the center of the nucleus the kinetochore microtubules are attached to the chromosomes and these microtubules pull the chromosomes towards the equator of the cell uh, so the microtubules pulls all the chromosomes towards the equatorial line and the chromosomes line up in one file and not and they are no longer present in pairs as such the chromosomes the homologous chromosomes exist in pair but by, by the time they reach to the metaphase stage they are no more in pairs and they are all lined up in a single file the centrioles are now positioned at the two opposite poles uh, it is more clear with this diagram we can see that in the metaphase stage they are all lined up towards the equator and the centrosomes are exactly towards uh, facing towards the opposite poles the microtubules um, are all joined towards are uh, uh, micro uh, the some of the microtubules are attached to the kinetochores of the chromosomes and what happens in the case of anaphase which is the next phase or phase or the subsequent phase after the metaphase the centromere splits as the spindle fibers pull it apart so there is a break in the centromere as the spindle fibers pull it towards the opposite poles the sister chromatids get separated and move in the opposite direction each chromatid becomes a chromosome so after the separation each of the sister chromatid becomes a chromosome separate chromosome so this is what happens in the case of anaphase the microtubules are pulling the chromosomes the sister chromatids apart so that they can get segregated in the two uh, daughter cells and um, uh, in the two daughter cells now this is the ultimate uh, step of the nuclear division or uh, ultimate step of the mitos mitotic division uh, in this stage the steps are exact reverse of what happens in the case of prophase this stage begins when the chromosomes reach the poles of the daughter cells the nuclear envelope is reformed the chromosomes uncoil into a chromatin form and the nucleolus is reformed a new nuclear envelope using the fragments of the parent cells uh, nuclear membrane forms around each set of separated sister chromo chromosomes so the sister chromatids have got separated and a new nuclear envelope is formed in each of the uh, uh, in each of the two pole regions and for the formation of the nuclear envelope it utilizes the fragments produced from the parent cell now the next step after the telophase or we can say a subsequent step which runs along with the telophase is that of the cytokinesis now telophase marks the end of the nuclear division and cytokinesis marks the beginning of the cytoplasmic division so uh, after the telophase the cytoplasm divides and um, and the allocation of other organelles like golgi body endoplasmic reticulum etc those organelles of the cell are also allocated in each of the daughter cell so uh, cytokinesis is nothing but splitting of the cytoplasm and allocation of organelles into each new cell mitosis involves the division of nucleus whereas cytokinesis is a separate process which begins at the same time as telophase it begins with the formation of a cleavage furrow between the two newly formed nuclei so a cleavage furrow is formed 
and this gets further constricted and ultimately uh, it divides and the, uh, the cytoplasm gets divided and the various organelles are also allocated. Now this uh, formation of cleavage furrow is typical in the case of animal cells and in the case of plant cells, it involves a, a different mechanism that is the Golgi bodies produce certain, uh, the Golgi bodies are uh, in um, produce certain polysaccharides which get lined up and uh, which form the cell plate in between and um, to explain it, let me just We know that a plant cell has got a rigid cell wall. So the Golgi bodies uh, produce certain vesicles which are filled up with polysaccharides. These vesicles line up in, in between and uh, they ultimately form the uh, cell, uh, cell, cell wall between the two daughter cells. Uh, so there is no cleavage for a formation in the case of plant cells. Now what are the functions of mitosis? It increases the number of cells leading to the growth. It repairs the damaged tissues. Say suppose we are burnt or we are cut. Uh, it helps in the repair of those uh, damaged uh, cells or damaged tissues. It is a mechanism of asexual reproduction in some animals like amoeba, some uh, unicellular organisms, uh, in some unicellular organism it is the only mechanism of uh, reproduction or propagation and uh, in vegetative reproduction in case of plants. Some plants um, reproduce with the help of mitosis only. That is they do not involve the formation of gametes or spores. Cell division also keeps cells small. That is, it maintains the surface area to volume ratio and uh, it does not allow uh, the increase of uh, enormous, uh, uh, it maintains the surface area to, of, uh, to the volume ratio. In sexual reproduction, the first stages of gametogenesis, that is the spermatogenesis and oogenesis involve mitosis in order to increase the number of cells that will uh, go into meiosis. The negative side to a cell division is that an uncontrollable, uncontrollable mitosis results into cancer or tumor. If the mitosis goes without any check in an uncontrollable manner, it leads to a cancerous situation. However, uh, each cell has got certain inherent uh, control mechanisms or checkpoints, some proteins uh, which, are, uh, which control the mitosis or cell division at various stages. If these particular checkpoints fail, it results into a cancerous situation. So ultimately coming to an end of my session, uh, in this session I have basically dealt with mitosis uh, which is divided into four stages that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase and it is followed by a cytokinesis stage which involves the division of cytoplasm and allocation of various organelles into the daughter cells and mitosis uh, ultimately results into the production of daughter cells which are genetically identical and which have the same number of chromosomes as that of the parent cell.